What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I'm coming to you guys with not one, not two, but three different eyeshadow looks. So yes, I am going to be giving you guys three different eyeshadow looks today and I'm going to be using this baby right here. So this is the Clara Cosmetics recently released Bondi palette and let me just, before I get into the tutorial, let me show you what we're going to be working with today. So straight off the bat, there are a lot of blue shadows going on in this palette, which is personally way out of my comfort zone. I typically don't gravitate towards cool toned eyeshadows, but it really gave me a chance to experiment and try some new things and get out of my comfort zone. And I mean, let me just show you guys the pigment that this palette has. One swipe. I love that color actually. And then this right here, one swipe, bam. And again, bam. As you can see, crazy pigmented. Before I get into the little tutorials, I just want to firstly give Clara Cosmetics a huge thank you for reaching out to me and wanting to work with me for this video for you guys. They were actually so kind enough to give me a discount code if you are interested in any of their products, even this palette even, you can get it for a discounted price. I'm gonna leave all of the details of that right here, as well as the finer details of it all in the description box below. But if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below, and also click that notification bell so you can stay updated with all the videos that I post. And I also want you to comment down below and let me know which look you like the best. So with that being said, Said, let's get into it. Okay guys, this is the first look that I'm going to be doing today. So to start things off, I'm going to go ahead and prime the lids. I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in Skin Tone to do so, just applying it all over the lids right up to my brows and then I'm going to go ahead and of course set that into place. I'm using the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent and this is going to ensure that I have a nice smooth canvas to work with. So this right here is the star of the show, the Clara Cosmetics Bondi Palette. I'm going to start things off by taking this shadow down here on a blending brush and I'm just running this back and forth through my crease, blending it and building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. This is going to act as my initial transitional crease shade and then I'm also going to take that on a more precise blending brush and run it along my bottom lash line and also smoke it out as I go. So next up, I'm going to be taking this slightly darker warm brown shade and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the outer corners of my eyes and build it up to the intensity that I want it to be. I'm also going to apply that to the inner corner of my eyes and this is going to start off the whole shape of the halo eye that I want to create. Once I'm happy with the intensity of the two, I will go ahead and kind of ever so slightly connect that through the crease and I am of course leaving the center of my lids blank because I'm going to go ahead and apply a different shadow to that area but I am also going to take this shadow once again and run it along my bottom lash line but I am of course keeping it much closer to the lash line while I blend it out and smoke it ever so slightly into that previous shade that's already there. So once I'm happy with how that's all looking, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease, but only in the center of my lids. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to do so with a precise concealer brush, as you can see, just kind of mapping it out and applying it in the center and then blending it as I go. I also like to use my fingers to blend at the edges just so it isn't so harsh and intense, but I do want the cut through the crease to be quite defined. So this is the shadow that I'm going to be applying to the very center of my lids, pretty much setting that concealer in place that I've just put down. I really like this shade. I would describe it as like a gold olive, but kind of pulls more gold type of shade. And I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and apply that over top of the concealer that I just put down. And this is pretty much just going to stick into place and 
essentially set the concealer into place so I'm just packing that on as much as I can building it up to the intensity that I want it to be and then because I did feel like I lost a little bit of intensity through the crease I'm just taking a precise blending brush and running that color that I packed onto the outer corners of the eyes through the crease. I'm also going to go ahead and take it once more to blend into that center lid shade just so everything flows together nicely. And then I'm going to be taking this shadow right here as my inner corner and brow bone highlight just to make sure that it's extra popping in those areas and that's pretty much it for the eyeshadows you guys this eyeshadow look was super easy as you can see it didn't take very long even though it was a halo eye it's pretty easy to do so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and also apply a coat of mascara top and bottom you guys know the drill I like to apply it a little heavier on the bottom and keep it fairly light on top because I am of course going to be applying falsies for this look I actually forgot to show them, but these are the House of Lashes False Lashes in the style Siren. I feel like these are my go-to at the moment. They are nice and wispy and full, but they're not too intense to the point where they take over the eye, which you guys know I'm all about that. So now that the whole eye look is pretty much done at this point, I'm going to go ahead and quickly finish off the rest of my face. I'm using the Maybelline Master Cream Highlighter in a Molten Gold to highlight. You guys know that I'm obsessed with this and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush to do so. I am also going to line my lips. Today I'm using the MAC lip liner in the shade Spice. Actually no, not Spice, Strip Down, sorry. I apologize. This is the MAC lip liner in Strip Down, so just following the natural line of my lips and filling them in ever so slightly. And then for my lip color of choice, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I really do like my lipstick to match whatever color I have going on in my crease. Very monochromatic, I know. <laughs> but this is the Astralis Demi Matte Lip Cream in Fearless. And with that being said, that is pretty much everything for look number one. Moving on to look number two, I don't know about you guys, but this one gives me real like mermaid vibes with the duochrome eyeshadow that I have going on. So first things first, of course, we cannot do anything without a base first. So all over the lids, right up to the brows, same as before, and then setting it into place with some translucent setting powder. So this is the shadow that I'm going to be applying as my initial transitional crease shade. I'm just using a blending brush to apply that back and forth through my crease, blending it and building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. And I'm also going to go ahead and also take that shade along my bottom lash line as well and smoke it out as I go. Then I'm going to be taking this dark warm brown shade and run that through my crease. I know it looks super messy as I'm doing this, but I was really more so focusing on laying down the color and making it super intense. So I'm really packing it in there right in the crease. And then as you will see, I'm going to go ahead and take that previous brush that I used to apply the initial crease shade and I'm blending at that top edge. I also forgot to add in the part where I did run that dark brown shadow along my bottom lash line as well. As you can see, there is shadow there as well. Then for my lid shade, I'm going to be taking this green shadow right here. It's like a jewel toned, intense, like emerald green type of color. That's how I describe it. So I'm just packing that onto the lids making it nice and intense. I love how shimmery it is. It just, I can't stop looking at it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this shadow right next to it. It's like a olive green shade, but it also shifts and is like a duochrome. So it looks brown as well, which I'm obsessed with. I love duochrome eyeshadows. So I'm just going ahead and blending that onto the outer corner of my eyes and also blending it into that lid shade that I have going on and as you can see it really does help to elongate the eyes and make it look super defined on that outer corner. I'm also going to take that shadow as well and apply it on my bottom lash line but I'm only focusing it on the outer corner of my bottom lash line. 
Now for my inner corner highlight, I am going to be taking this shadow right here. It's like a champagne kind of shade, but it also has that, once again, green undertone to it. So I'm just applying that to the inner corners of my eyes. And then next up, I am going to be applying a mascara because you already know what it is. I'm going to be going with falsies. So just applying a coat, bottom and top, and then these are the falsies that I'm going to be using. Once again, the House of Lashes falsies in Siren. I cannot stress enough how much I love these lashes and I also have to add in that they are super easy to apply. Once again, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold to highlight my face with. If you have not got this highlighter, do yourself a favor and go and check it out because it's super inexpensive. It's a drugstore and it is possibly one of my favorite highlighters of all time. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. So I'm using this lip liner from Essence Cosmetics in the shade called In The Nude. Of course, you guys already know I love me a good nude. And for this look, that was no exception. So for my actual lip color, I'm going to be using Desert Suede from Dose of Colors. This is one of their liquid lipsticks and I just felt like this color for the lips was appropriate because this liquid lipstick really does match what's going on in my crease and I like things to be matchy matchy like that. <laughs> So to top that off, I decided to go in with the Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Undressed. As you can see, it is just a standard pale nude. I also wanted to use this to kind of lighten up that lip color just a little bit. And yeah, that is pretty much it for look number two. Now for look number three, I don't know why, but when I finished doing this, the phrase that came to my head was blue steel, just those colors on my eyes, that's just what I thought of. But to start things off, the usual, I'm going to go in with the NYX eyeshadow base and apply that, blend it on, set it in place with some of the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Translucent Powder. So I'm going to start things off with this shadow right here, taking that on my blending brush and just building it up to the intensity that I want it to be in the crease. As you can see, applying it and blending it as I go and slightly smoking it out as well. Then I'm going to take this lighter shade right here and I'm going to apply this. I'm kind of using it like to blend at that top edge, not really so much to lay down any color, but just to blend at it and lighten it up just a little bit. So I'm going to be taking this shadow right here. It's kind of like a duochrome shadow. Once again, it's like blue, but it has that mm, like a gold sort of olive undertone to it as you can see it does shift in the light so I'm just packing that onto the first two thirds of my lids and building it up to the intensity that I want it to be and then I'm gonna take this shadow right next to it and start applying this to the outer third like the outer corner of my eyes and blend it into that shadow that I just laid down previously so I'm kind of just eyeballing it, like applying it on there and then blending it inwards towards the center of the lids, taking a look, seeing if I like the placement. And then I'm going to go in with this matte blue shadow and I'm going to use that to further define that outer corner of the eye and add more depth and just add more intensity to it. So once I'm happy with how that shadow on the outer corner of the eyes is looking, it's at this point where I'll go back in with my blending brush that I used to first, like to apply the first color that I applied. And I just go ahead and blend at the top edge just to make sure that the line in that area isn't so harsh, like there is a nice blend. So I'm going to go back into this shadow and I'm also going to take that and kind of run it through my crease as well just to make sure that everything is nicely blended. I feel like using a shimmery shadow to like blend is a lot easier than using a matte shadow and it kind of just pulls everything together. So again, I'm taking this shadow and I'm going to go ahead and run that along my bottom lash line and smoke it out ever so slightly. I also like to do this thing where I pull it up towards the outer corner of my eyes and connect it up to the crease color because typically I will lay down whatever color I have in my crease along my bottom lash line 
And then I'm also going to go ahead and take this shadow once again and apply that to my bottom lash line as well, but I'm keeping it much closer to the lash line and smoking it out ever so slightly, but not as far as I did with that matte brown shade. So for the last part of shadows, I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes just to make it pop a little more. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and also apply that to my brow bones. So for liner, I don't typically like to wear black eyeliner, but I feel like with dark looks, it really does pull everything together nicely, especially if you're trying to do like a dark smoky eye. So I'm taking this one from Urban Decay. This is just the 24-7 Glide On Liner in the shade Perversion. And I'm going to go ahead and tight line my eyes with that and also run it through my waterline. And then I'm also going to take my brush and smoke out that black liner that's in my waterline. Of course, I'm going to be going in with mascara once again, the Maybelline Lash, la, 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 Lash, <laughs> Lash Sensational Mascara. Yes, I'm applying that heavily on the bottom lashes and then lighter on the top because you guys already know I'm going to be going in with some falsies. So I'm pretty sure I used the same falsies for all of these looks today. So the House of Lashes False Lashes in the style Siren. Once again, I don't want my lashes to take over the entire look that I have going on on the lids. So that's why I like these because they do enhance the eyes, but they don't overtake the eyes, if you know what I mean. I'm going to quickly just apply some of the Betty Luminizer to my cheeks just to give them a little bit of a bronzy glow. And then I am also going to be using one of the shadows from this palette as my highlighter for this look. So as you can see, you can of course use the shadows as a highlighter too. And this one was pretty intense. I applied it and I was like, whoa. I calm down. <laughs> so I did have to blend it in quite well, but they are super pigmented and it's, yeah, you can use them for things other than just eyeshadows. But that is what I used for my highlighter for this look. Moving on to the lips now, I am going to firstly line them with this lip liner from Models Prefer. This is in the shade Infinite Spice as usual, just following the natural lip line of my lips. Now for my actual lip color, I decided to use the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cool Girl because once again, it matches my crease, but I decided that I wanted to lighten it up a little bit since the eyes are so intense and dark, I didn't want the lips to be intense as well. So I'm just going over top of that with the NYX Round Lipstick in the shade Cirque. As you can see, it's a very pale nude. And that is pretty much it for look number three. Okay guys, there we have it. Those were my three looks using the Clara Cosmetics Bondi palette. I want you to comment down below and let me know which look you liked on me the best. As always, I will leave all the details for each look, like what products I use for each look down in the description box below, where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you wanna keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or Snapchat, all that good stuff will be down below. I'm also gonna leave all of the links and everything you need to know about Clara Cosmetics down in the description box as well. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video. One wish, 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 one wish.